And we're back to learning GIMP. Let me show you how you can change the sky. We'll start with this canvas. Let me drag and drop an image. I use the scale tool. You can also press Shift S for that. Make it at least as big as a canvas. So this is my original right here. And we don't really need the black background. I'll make it invisible. Now drag and drop a night sky on top. A bit big here. I'll go down with the opacity. Shift S is still active. I left click and now I want to adjust it so that we have the sky of this one on top of the sky of the other one. You may also have to move that around using the move tool right here. Increase the opacity again and then put this night sky layer below our original that we want to have replaced. Then right click add layer mask. The original I paint on the layer mask right here in the layers menu and not the layer. So this white area is active. Then use the paintbrush. I use a brush that feathers out quite a lot and then I make it relatively big for my canvas size 700, 800 should be fine. And I make sure it's black. So black is my foreground, white is my background color. And now I left click drag, just like this. The transition here is obviously the hardest part. So go over it slowly. Once you've got that, we still have to check if there's something in the foreground, like the person here. If so, paint over it with a white color, but be careful when you bring parts back, because when you bring too much back, you have the edges have a way lighter color tone than everything else. And this creates kind of like a halo effect for the person here. You can see that right there. And it's not a good idea to bring it back with a black color. Let me show you what happens then. I make it black and I paint over this halo and now this has a way darker color tone than the environment and this creates a halo in the other direction. So this is not a good idea. Press Ctrl Z until you've arrived at the point where now Halo is visible and paint over it in white. And every time you exceed the edges and get that Halo, press Ctrl Z and make your brush a little bit smaller and go over it again.
and this one should be fine. Finally, we can go to our top layer, then go to colors and use the curves and adjust a little bit. In this case, I want to have it a bit darker, so I'll go down slightly with the blue color channel. And this is how you can replace this guy in a photo using him. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.